What's going on guys, Big Fry here. The gameplay in the background is Halo 4 from the Halo Master Chief Collection, so you're watching it in beautiful 60 FPS. We're playing on Abandoned, and we're playing King of the Hill. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button below if you enjoy the content. Leave a comment, have a conversation, and just stick around. Um, I go hard in this gameplay, by the way. You guys need to really pay attention. I don't go on a lot of kill streaks, but what I do is, when we're going to capture the new point, I walk in and just get trip kills fucking left, right, and center, so then my team just rolls in and we just, we dominate. So, I want to talk about a topic that's been brought up numerous times to me, and this is going to be a new type of series on this channel where I literally throw a gameplay up and I discuss something. And now this has nothing to do with Halo, it actually has something to do with SOCOM, so for all my SOCOM fans out there, pay attention. <laughs> um, so this has been brought up in, in tweets, in comments, and private messages, um, I get at least two or three messages a day about it. Um, what people are asking me is, why don't I play SOCOM Insurgency or SOCOM GO? Now, for those who don't understand what I'm talking about, these are mods for Counter-Strike and Insurgency uh, to make them feel more like SOCOM. So you get the third person camera, uh, a little bit of gun mechanic tweaking and, and whatnot. Um, I myself love SOCOM, I'm a huge SOCOM fan, and I look for just about anything SOCOM related to get my hands on, so they're asking me why don't I play the mods. Well, I'm about to put all of the speculation and all the questions to rest. Um, there's a few reasons, to be honest, why I don't play uh, SOCOM GO or SOCOM Insurgency. The number one reason is, the games just don't feel like SOCOM to me. Um, you know, I played SOCOM GO, uh, and it just felt like Counter-Strike in third person, which, uh, to me, isn't SOCOM, um, and it just didn't feel like, it just felt like I was playing Counter-Strike when I could, I could play at a more competitive level in Counter-Strike in first person than I would with getting the camera collision issues that the mod had, it's like, so, so I just said, fuck that. I don't want to touch that. SOCOM Insurgency, same thing. You're playing the game modes from Insurgency. Your characters move, like, it's just Insurgency with a third-person camera. Um, in Insurgency, yeah, he's got some crosshair changes and stuff, and it's looking more like SOCOM, but, again, as we saw with H-Hour, you can make it look like SOCOM all you want. If it doesn't play like SOCOM, then I'm not going to fuck with it. Um, so that's the number one reason. Now, I know there's a lot of SOCOM fans out there who will literally play anything to get their fix, and that's great. If you guys are loving those mods, fantastic. For me, I just, I, I'm not, I should say, not that desperate enough to play it to where I just play a subpar experience, I guess you could say. Because, I mean, let's be honest, it's a mod. Uh, people keep bringing it up that Redline is going to do uh, when SOCOM, or sorry, when Source 2 comes out, he's going to do his own standalone. Fantastic. When that comes, hit me up. Whatever. But until that point, I'm not going to play Insurgency in third person because I, there's, I just don't see a point in it myself. Now, the number two reason, maybe not as important as number one, but it's still pretty important in my books. Um, I've been banned from every single Redline server in the world, <laughs> you know, uh, whether it be SOCOM GO, whether it be SOCOM Insurgency, Redline banned me from every server, um, and the reason he did that is because when I was supporting H-Hour way back in the day, I think this was around January, January or February, right before Alpha started, I got into a conversation with some people on TheRealSoCom.com, and they were talking about how Redline was was doing some great work, and you know he's showing more progress than SOF is, and and you know they were they were praising the shit out of him, which I mean, great, that's your opinion, and all I did was I went into their thread, and I made a post, and I said, look, you guys, I'm gl you know, I'm glad he's giving you guys something to look at, something to play, but building a mod is not even on the same level as building a game. And I, I went into detail, I explained, you know, you're already working with the tools, you don't have to worry about the engine, you just, you're working with the tools that are already given to you. Whereas building a game from scratch, you have nothing. You are starting from scratch, which is a lot harder, it's a lot more time, you know, time sensitive, it's, it's, it's just, it's just fact. That's just a simple fact. Um, and, you know, those guys understood it. Redline, from that moment on, 
I was banned from every server. And literally that same day, I was playing SOCOM GO, probably about two hours earlier than the post. So I, I made the post, and uh, I think that night or maybe the next day I went back, and I was banned. And I was banned from every single server. So he didn't like me talking, in my opinion. Um, he didn't like me saying facts, which, I mean, if anybody has any experience with game development, that's a simple fucking fact. But he didn't like that. He didn't like that I wasn't, I guess, on board and didn't like everything about SOCOM GO at the time. Um, he honestly, he reminds me of Tom. And if you guys aren't following H-Hour, Tom is the president of SOF Studios. If you are not on board with anything that these two guys say, then you were fucking, you were 100% the enemy. And I, I gave the kid props. I said his maps look fantastic, but it's still Counter-Strike at the end of the day, and you can't change the game enough to make it feel not like Counter-Strike. And if people are okay with that, that's fine, but don't expect it to be like SOCOM. And I guess he didn't like that. Um, and so for me, I, you know, I've been banned since, I want to say it was early January, maybe it was even late December. Um, I, I, it was so long ago. But I'm still banned. I, I went back and tried to get on it in SOCOM Insurgency uh, last week with Abel and banned. So for me, even if Redline were to unban me, just based out of pure principle, because I'm a stubborn prick, if if you get that butt hurt over somebody's opinion, when that opinion is actual fact, when it comes down to game development, then I'm not going to fuck with you. I'm not going to support you. I'm not going to do content for you. I'm not going to cover your your mods. I don't care about you. Um, and I'm a small fish in a big pond, but if you're going to be that hurt... And that pissed off over what I gotta say, then I don't I don't need to I don't need to support you. So y you make a mod that doesn't feel like SOCOM, and and you ban people who say that it doesn't feel like SOCOM. It sounds just like H Hour, which is why I don't do any more coverage of H Hour. Um, if you don't want to hear critique, if you don't want to hear fact, then fuck you. Simple as that. Um, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys have played these mods, let me know what you guys think of them down in the comments below. Use the keyword modding in your comment. Let me know that you made it to the end of the video. And guys, all my SOCOM fans out there, I'm sorry that I, I'm sticking to my principles. I'm not going to play these mods. I'm sorry if that pisses you guys off or if you're going to unsubscribe because I'm not covering that. It's just, it's the way the cookie fucking crumbles, guys. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Hit me up on Twitter, at BigFryTV. And you can get me at Twitch, twitch.tv slash BigFryTV. We hit our 1K sub goal on YouTube. I'm looking to push Twitch in the same direction. If I could get a 1,000 Twitch followers by the end of this year, fuck, man. I'm going to be so happy. So if you guys could go support me over there, watch the live streams, get involved, because we have some really good times over there. This this gameplay you guys see here is actually from a live stream. I just went back and recorded the high quality for everybody. And that's all I gotta say, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying whatever day you're watching this on. I hope you're enjoying the mods if you are playing them. And uh, as always, guys, just keep talking SOCOM. Keep pushing that SOCOM Remastered on Twitter because we, we need a proper, true SOCOM game. And, uh, and yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Have a good day.